Hello students, so let's try to solve this particular problem. This problem is from CSIR NET 2024 June examination. The question ID is 705025. So this is one of the very nice question from the quantum mechanics and this is from the harmonic oscillator. So in this problem, the Hamiltonian is given for the harmonic oscillator and that is trivial harmonic oscillator given by the potential half m omega square x square. The state is given and they are the superposition of uh, n is equal to 1 and n is equal to 2 where n is equal to 1 and 2 are the normalized first and second excited state. So you have to take care of this thing. The beautiful thing is that there is one phase part e to the power i phi type of thing is there. So you have to be careful about this. And it is given lambda and phi are the positive real quantity. So what do you have to do? If, if the expectation value is given into this term, that is beta root under h cut upon m omega, and you know that root under h cut upon m omega is the dimension of length, then what you have to do, you have to calculate the value of beta. So let's try to calculate this one. This is a straightforward question, but you have to be a little bit conscious when you are going to solve this particular problem. So let us try to go for this one. So when we are going to solve this one, let's try to go for this particular problem. Okay, so let's try to go for this one. So what is my state? So first step is that we have to write the state and this will be 1 upon 1 plus lambda square and uh, this is k to 1 and lambda e to the power i phi k to So and obviously it is normalized. So this mod square, this mod square root under must be this one. So it is normalized. So before solving this problem, don't directly go to the final calculation, write down psi as a bra form. When you will write the psi in a bra form, then this will be 1 plus lambda square, that will be 1 ket plus lambda, it should be lambda star, but it is real quantity, so it will be lambda, but it here it is e to the power minus i phi and 2 ket. And now we will go for average value of x. So when we will go for average value of x, that is psi x psi. So what you will get? You will get there are four terms. So when you will go for this particular term, then the four term is 1 upon 1 plus lambda square because one is from kit to another is from bra. The first term is 1 kit 1 x 1 plus another term is 1 plus lambda square this into this. And here will be your lambda square is there. So there will be 2x2 two two. and there will be cross term also. So when you will go for cross term, so then you have 1 by 1 plus lambda square, 1x2 and you have lambda e to the power i phi. And there is another cross term that value is 1 upon 1 plus lambda square. And this value is equal to 2x1 lambda e to the power minus i phi. So you have to be very much careful. Now, here we will use the uh, concept of harmonic oscillator or the property of harmonic oscillator. We all know that the average value of x on any eigenstate of the Hamiltonian will be 0 because your potential is symmetric about x is equal to 0. You all know this. And similarly, this part is also going to be 0. And when you will see this part, this is, these are not going to be 0. So what we have to do? We have to see this particular thing very carefully. But I can say that the value of this one and the value of this one will be again same. Why? Because 1 kit and 2 kit is a real function. And once you have a real function, either you will write it in form of kit or write it in form of bra that will give you the same thing. So what you will get? You can take lambda and 1 plus lambda square and 1 x 2. You can take this one. And here we have e to the power i phi plus e to the power minus i phi. And if you will see the option, so there is a cos phi term is there. So you should be relaxed that yes, you can write it in form of cos. So this will be 2 will be there. So this will be cos phi. So what you will get? You will get this whole term is 
टू लैमडा वन प्लस लैमडा स्क्वायर एंड कॉस फाइव एंड द ओनली वन टर्म आई हैव टू कैलकुलेट दैट इज वन एक्स टू सो दिस टर्म आई हैव टू कैलकुलेट दिस इज द ओनली कैलकुलेशन आई हैव टू डू एंड ईच एंड एवरीथिंग वी कैन राइट विद द यूज ऑफ क्वांटम मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द हार्मोनिक ऑसिलेटर सो लेट एस ट्राई टू कैलकुलेट वन एक्स टू सो आई कैन यूज अनदर कलर सो आई हैव टू कैलकुलेट वन एक्स टू एंड वी नो दैट दिस एक्स can be written as root under h cut upon 2m omega that value is a plus a dagger where a and a dagger are the lowering and raising operator so what will happen this value is equal to root under h cut upon 2m omega is there and what you have you have 1 a 2 plus 1 a dagger 2 this number will be going to be zero why a dagger is going to operate on two this will give you the three third state so this is going to be zero only this is going to be survive because a will operate on two that will lower this thing and you will get root two and this is equivalent to h cut upon 2 m omega root two and you will get one and one this is something like one and one One and one cut. So this value is one, and this root to this root to is gone, and you have root under h cut upon m omega. So now, if we are writing the expectation value of x, if we are going to calculate this particular expectation value of x, then the expectation value of x is basically average value of x is given as we have two lambda one plus lambda square. cos phi and root under h cut upon m omega and once you are going to match this thing then obviously this is the value of beta and the value of beta is equal to 2 lambda cos phi 1 plus lambda square and you can match this is the answer 3 is the correct one so this is wonderful question why it is wonderful question because first thing you have to be very much conscious that when you are going for the bra part you have to take care of this one second thing when you will calculate each and everything in the exam then it will take a lot of time every time you will write a plus a dagger and you will calculate it but if you will use the property then you can solve it in a very nice way so this is the wonderful question you should practice this type of question in the next you can just practice something like lambda can be a imaginary number then how you this thing is going to be happen you just you can try this particular question that when your lambda is also imaginary then how you can approach this one so okay student just try to this question with yourself if you have any suggestion you can knock to me thank you